All right, let's move on to drone deploy. Let's check out the capture portion, the app, because uh, we are reviewing the top five drone capture apps. Let's take a look, dive right into the drone deploy capture app. If you happen to miss the full enterprise drone platform showdown, you can check it out. This is just a highlight for the top five drone capture apps. So when I open the drone deploy capture app, the first thing it pulls up is either a project list or a map. Let's go ahead and start from the map because adding a project is as easy as just clicking on the create project here button, moving it to where I want to create a project and clicking. I can give it a name, test, continue. And then I have a few different options, different templates that are available. If I was doing an ag mission, I could do a crop report mission. Maps and models, that's for 2D and 3D ortho mosaics and modeling. Photo report, that you can see I can capture for a photo report, create a report with video, or I can create a panorama. Let's go ahead and just do maps and models. It's gonna go ahead and pull up, you can see, it's gonna go ahead and pull up a, a square for me. Uh, if I wanna change the location, I can simply do that just by clicking around and it's gonna change where that's going to be on the map. And I can also change uh, any of the individual points. Uh, so if I wanted to move it, right now you can see that it has sort of a crosshatch pattern. That's because I have this enhanced 3D turned on. Let's go ahead and turn that off for now. So now you can see a little bit better what this looks like. Let's say I wanted to make this a little bit smaller. If I want to make it smaller, I can go ahead and just click on any of the vertices and just bring them in. It's gonna automatically change. You can see I also have all of the uh, flight estimate information available. Uh, as I change the AOI, it's going to update that in real time. One handy feature that's available within Drone Deploy that is rare in most of these drone uh, capture apps is terrain awareness. So if I click on this terrain button, it's gonna pull up uh, from SRTM data, essentially NASA data for a very large course resolution, uh, about 30 meter uh, SRTM data set that's using that data for the earth terrain. So if there were large changes, if it was a mountainside or rolling hills um, or something that was large, that was part of the terrain, not a building necessarily or trees, but just the terrain. And I wanted to keep a consistent ground sample distance in that increasing or decreasing terrain throughout my area of interest. I would just click terrain awareness on and it would actually, for my area of interest, it would lower, it would elevate and lower the drone based on keeping that consistent distance from the ground. That's pretty handy. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off, but I wanted to make sure you understood that that was available. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take a look at the uh, advanced tab. In the advanced, I can see obviously the persistent information is the mission information. I wanna take automatic settings off and I wanna change the automatic setting. I wanna change the settings to what I like. So instead of frontal over lack of 80, I prefer to use 75. I can either use the slider bar or I can click and just set to 75. I can change the flight direction directly within here. You can see that it'll move in the map. I can change the flight speed, change the starting waypoint, and I can turn on or off perimeter 3D, cross hatch 3D directly within here as well. So I'm gonna keep that turned off. I can do airspace directly from in, within my flight planning. That's very handy. I can request my Lance authorization directly within here. It's gonna pull in my mission automatically, pull in my information automatically, and it, I can change it, uh, change the max altitude. It's gonna pull in the altitude that I, that I want into the request. Flight duration, I can change any of the departure information depending on when I'm gonna be in the field, and I just hit save. And from that case, I can look at the authorization agree and request. It's really quite simple. In this case is now submitting to the FAA through the Lance system, uh, which is back online, which is great. Uh, it's gonna submit it and it's gonna give me a pretty instant approval. See, it's now uh, approved. So that is super handy. Now I can just go back to the app and I can see that the approval is there. So that's super handy. Uh, the last thing that I can do from here is I can connect to the drone and fly directly from this app. Um, in this case, we're gonna skip that portion, uh, but we can't connect directly from them and it keeps us within this app. I don't have to change to the DJI Go 4 app. I do everything right from within this app, which is very handy. So that's everything for Drone Deploy, the capture app. So let's move on to the next one, shall we?